In this quick video, we will demonstrate how to use Advanced Mixed Traffic Test Builder with customizable performance protocols such as HTTP, HTTP2, FTP, and so forth, which gives flexibility to modify their parameters that is native to CyberFlood Advanced Mixed Traffic Test Builder. We will also add a couple of popular test cloud applications such as Facebook and Oracle application and then we will run this test and have a quick look at the reporting. Let's get us started. After logging into Cyberflow landing page, we will switch to Advanced Mixed Traffic in Test Builder tab to start our configuration. We expand our profile library to reuse existing profiles. We will use the Cyberflood virtual back-to-back -back from Q resources. We will use predefined 10.1 subnet for client side, assign its associated data port, and pick 10.2 subnet for server side plus its data port. Then we use a couple of customizable performance protocols such as FTP and HTTP, adjust their traffic percentages, and update the configuration with the changes. Now we notice a couple of configuration alerts indicating the need for subnet and protocol association. For that, we press on the pie chart red icon, picking the protocols and choosing the subnets associated with each of those protocols. With no more alerts, we continue to complete the configuration. For that, we move to Action List tab to define actions for FTP and HTTP protocols. Each of them gives you global control options for flows such as looping and sleeping or protocol-specific parameters. For example, FTP gives you options for get and put method, IP address that you can have auto-assigned or manually configured, as well as the port number and whether passive or active mode. Also, it gives you ability to use predefined or custom data. And to give you more control, we provide a way for overriding server burst size and interval. Then for HTTP, we can add actions with same global control. And for HTTP control, Smart Builder provides auto or manual IP assignment, port number, the URI, the HTTP methods, allowing host authentication, as well as HTTP request levels. Now these changes can be updated in configuration. Also keep in mind that you can have access to the generated code directly too. So at this point, we have a complete and validated configuration. But let's make things more interesting by adding a couple of test cloud-based applications from our profile library like Facebook and Oracle application. Then we adjust the traffic as needed. and update the configuration with these changes. So now we notice the subnet application alert again, and we make the adjustment by clicking on the subnet pie chart icon again, and including these applications in the subnet as well. We are back with validated configuration. Let's adjust the target bandwidth to one gig for this cyber flood virtual back-to-back -back test, then save the test and run the test. We let the test run and view the live report for our configured advanced mixed traffic test. We see our test meeting the targeted load spec. And further down, we see throughput for protocol and applications that we configured, namely FTP, HTTP, Facebook, and Oracle application. We let our test run to the finish. So in this video, we quickly showed you how to use Advanced Mixed Traffic Test Builder to test customizable protocol with added test cloud applications. Thank you for watching.